Welcome to part 2 of Ford Transit Engine Rebuild where in this video I will be installing the cylinder head, flywheel and timing chain kit. It's time to close the top end which means we need to fit cylinder head gasket. But before we do so, we need to lubricate the head gasket. I lubricate the gasket as I believe the cylinder fits more smoothly, but you can also choose not to lubricate, it's up to you. When installing the cylinder head, you need to make sure that the cylinder head's mounting hole fits to the engine Bluxdale pin. Now it's time to put 10, 17mm bolts to the cylinder head. Do not use thread locker for the bolts. There is also 8 13mm bolts on the inner part of the cylinder head. Now it's time to tighten the bolts. I am first tightening the bolt with a medium set air gun and then using torque wrench set at manufacturer's torque specification. Using a torque wrench is vital in tightening the bolt as if the cylinder head is not tightened, the engine will lose compression and will blow the head gasket. If you under torque the cylinder head bolt, you will yield either the bolt or the thread making them deform, therefore making them unlikely to tighten correctly and provide least clamping force as they originally do. When you over torque the cylinder head, you will strip or stretch the bolt. This will cause to have an uneven torque and when heat and compression is added, you will blow the head gasket. Now it's time to lubricate the camshaft housing. This is where the camshaft sit. In that camshaft sits where I am currently lubricating. And exhaust camshaft on the other side. Place the inlet camshaft on the cylinder head and check if it moves smoothly. Fuel pump sits at the end of the inlet camshaft. Lubricate the inlet camshaft or the hole. Place the exhaust cam shaft and make sure it moves smoothly. Lubricate the exhaust cam shaft oil hole. It's time to put the top cam shaft cage, but before you do, you need to silicone the cylinder head using silicone gasket. Make sure you use silicone which is both water and oil proof and can withstand at least 250 degrees Celsius so that there is no oil escape. Now put the cam shaft cage. There is no gasket for the cage. There are 24 bolts that goes on the cylinder cage. 20 10 mm bolts goes to the inner cam shaft cage and 4 to the outer side towards the front, near the timing chain kit. Cam shaft cage sits on top of the cylinder head. It has the other half of the bearing surface for the cam shaft, and when bolted down, it holds the cam shafts in place. Once again, using an egg and set at medium speed or a ratchet, tighten the bolts, but make sure to not over tighten them as you might overspin the bolts and then would need to rethread the cylinder head. You can also crack the cylinder head or the cage. Now it's time to put the flywheel to the crankshaft flange. You don't need to worry about installing the flywheel wrong as there is a dowel pin on the crankshaft flange which sits on the hole of the flywheel. Using E12 six point tool, tighten the bolt. You can use Loctite to the bolts. It's time to place the camshaft is. The gears for both the exhaust and inlet camshafts are identical and can fit for both camshafts. I will make a more explanatory video of the timing chain, as this video will be a brief one. Do not tighten the gears yet, keep it slightly loose, as you would need to make slight adjustments while putting the chain. Turn the camshaft gear until the hole on the gear sits at the bottom. Place camshaft sprocket timing pin or a drill bit through the gear hole to stop the gear from moving. Now it's time to put the chain. On the chain there should be two black colour chain. Link the two black colour chain with the up arrow and the camshaft gear.
lock the flywheel to its position using a sprocket or a bolt. The groove of the crankshaft fly alignment is different, therefore you can identify where the position is. Now it's time to fit the timing chain guide on tensioner. This guide is not a screw, but rather a hole, where the guide fits in the tensioner below stretches the guide to the chain. The guide on the right side has two 8mm bolts. You can tighten the bolt as it won't affect the timing. Now it's time for the tensioner. The tensioner has two 8mm bolts. You can tighten the bolts using a ratchet as it won't affect the timing. Now install the top guide using two 8mm bolts. Once the top guide is placed, it's time to remove the tensioner pin. This step is important as you need to push the guide to the tensioner pin and then slowly release the tensioner pin so the tensioner does not spring. Stay tuned for part 3 as I will be installing the rocker arm follows and closing the engine.